It is one of the biggest shows of the year. Yet, despite the fact it's expected to be a complete and utter sellout, tickets for Ariana Grande's forthcoming charity concert will not be available on most major ticket resale sites. In a bid to stop ticket touts from making an unfair profit, three of the biggest secondary vendors have all refused to list the passes after they go on sale tomorrow. Ticketmaster, which has already confirmed it will not charge booking fees on tickets, said it would not allow them to be sold on either of its resale platforms, Gitten and Seatwave. StubHub will not accept them either, a spokeswoman confirmed. Viagogo has yet to confirm its stance. That's because the show, which will take place on Sunday June 4, will raise money for those injured or bereaved by the suicide bombing at Manchester Arena, last week. 22 people were killed and around 120 more were injured in the blast after Ariana Grande's show on Monday May 22. 17 people remain in a critical condition in hospital. Ariana will return to Manchester this weekend to play a huge fundraising concert at Emirates Old Trafford, where she will be joined by megastars including Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, and Katy Perry. Coldplay, Pharrell Williams, Take That, The Black Eyed Peas, Usher and One Direction star Neil Harana are also on the star-studded lineup at the One Love Manchester show. The acts have all given their time for free while concert promoter Live Nation has underwritten the cost of putting on the event. Fans who were at Ariana's concert last week can register for free tickets until 4pm today before they go on general sale at 10am tomorrow. However, fans who bought their tickets from some resale sites say they have been unable to apply without the original booking information. A Ticketmaster spokesman said, we are doing everything possible to extend the offer to all fans we can verify were at the show.